As you know, we are going to observe the Mother Worship Durga. This is our annual festival. Durga Puja started a few days ago, and the JP Puja started. But we generally pick a Sanjay while so that the people can come and join Durga. <coughs> Mother worship. In the Judeo Christian and Islamic system, mother worship is not there. In Hindu system, we have mother worship. This concept of mother is very important. Sometimes we think mother means a woman a weak woman. But people do not realize the, what mother is. Mother is Shakti, power. Brahman, pure consciousness, cannot create anything without this Maya power. This Maya power is inscrutable. This whole creation came from this Shakti, power. We call it energy. This Shakti has two departments, Vidya Shakti or Vidya Shakti. Vidya Shakti is good, all good, all auspicious, creative, positive. Avidya Shakti, destructive. So these are the two forces that are always at fight. Both are Maya. Now you can ask that why God created this avidya, ignorance. That is his play. If there is an avidya, last anger, jealousy, you cannot make a saint. You must overcome this kind of bad propensities. That is the way the Shakti works. In other religions, good and evil, two different entities, God and Satan, but not in Hinduism. Good and bad are, belong to the same Shakti. When it is high tide, we call it good. When it is low tide, we call it bad. Same Shakti. The fire which cooks food for your hungry stomach, same fire can burn your house. Destruction, construction. Vidya Shakti or Vidya Shakti. It is amazing that why this Maya, this Shakti, the Divine Mother, why do you worship? Perhaps you have seen that image of the Mother Durga, Dashak Prahodranadharan, with ten hands, he is protecting us from ten sides. East, west, south, north, four corners, above, below. Mother is protected. Second, you will find left side, Saraswati, the goddess of learning, wisdom. Right side, Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, wealth. Left side below, Kartika, the god of... She is the commander-in-chief of God, strength. Right side, down, Ganesha, the god of success. Sound is echoing or what? No. Anyhow, these are the that is the symbol. How we see. Let me tell you a Indian folklore. Once the guru wanted to test the devotion of the disciples. He gave a talk, the Buddha Neva. Here I put ten images of Durga. And here I put ten images of Mohishashvara, demons. Vidya Shakti, Avidya Shakti. You select, if you, attain, if you take the Vidya Shakti, you will be happy. Peace, joy, everything will come to your life. And if you take Avidya Shakti, you will be miserable, you will suffer. 
He explained these two shaktis, the two powers. And he said, you choose. But before I now I shall you you this I shall turn off the light because you, know, you I do not know who what you are going to choose and nobody will see what you are choosing. But I tell you one thing before I leave. These Durgas are made of wood, wooden images. And these Osuras are made with gold and diamond and all precious metals. So Guru turned up the light and left. And then they found that all Osura's images are gone, all Durga images are left. It shows the propensities of human, general human beings. We want the wealth of Maya. Abhita Maya. And that binds us. And that gives us all suffering and misery. Bitta Maya, Abhita Maya. You choose. Everything is in front of you. Shakti. Sometimes this Maya is very inscrutable. We do not understand the mystery. Look, in the Ramayana, even God is <coughs> under the control of Maya. Sita says, I want a gold deer to satisfy Sita. Ram left, ran for the deer, Maric, with the bow and arrow. He knows the deer cannot be gold. But she, even it is very amazing that even Rama is chasing the deer to satisfy his wife. And then, as you know the story, he hit the deer and Maric, it was a whole set up by Ravana. They, at that time, Ravashita was kidnapped. See the power of Maya? Even God is deluded. Then we find, very interesting, this Hindu epics, how they depict these two forces and how they are working in this world. Shiva, his son, his father-in-law is, 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 is in Himalaya. Very rich. All wealth are in the Himalayas. But he is a beggar. Lives in cremation ground. His wife is Parvati. His son is the god of success. All these things. But he is in the cremation ground. And why does he live? He lives with the father-in-law's house. Generally, the man is, has no power, no strength. He takes the shape and shelter in his father-in-law's house. It is disgraceful for a, for a person to live in father-in-law's house. <laughs> Look at Vishnu. Why does he live? He also lives in father-in-law's house. <laughs> Vishnu came marriage Lakshmi. Lakshmi came from where? When the gods and demons charmed the ocean, came Lakshmi. And that Lakshmi, all gods and demons want to marry her. He says, I can marry, I shall do the shambara. I shall select my husband. So Lakshmi came and all are lined up. What happened? Lakshmi says, I shall marry that person who does not want me. I only want to marry that person who does not want me, who, does not, who is not present here. They found only Vishnu did not come in the Shambhara. So Lakshmi went and put the garland to Vishnu and married. So Vishnu lives in the ocean, in the Shaya, Ananta Shayana. This, our stories of this say that even how God is under the spell of Maya, what to call, what to speak of ordinary human beings. <coughs> We are all tempted by Maya. Look, the beginning of the Chanji, the king Shura of <coughs> his kingdom, went to the forest. His enemies occupied his 
whole kingdom, all wealth. And sitting in the forest, he was thinking, all my elephants and lions, my horses are taken care of, all my wealth will be spent by this, my enemies. All these things he is thinking. Maya. And the man, Shamadi, they are a businessman. He was also betrayed by his wife and sons. They took away all his property. And he was thinking in the forest, Shh, are they all right? I am, you know, suffering this way. All these things, you know. They are thinking all the time about thinking about his wife and son who drove them away and took all of his possessions. I'm just telling you how this Maya works. Maya. I wrote a story. Narada and Parvata, the two sages, and both are devoted to Vishnu. And they were the <coughs> marriage ceremony, the selection of the bride, bridegroom. So Ambarisha was a king, his daughter's name was Srimati. He wants, she wanted to marry. And, Rava, and Narada fell in love with that girl. And Parvata also fell in love with that girl. So Narada was thinking, I shall go to Vishnu and ask his help so that I can get that girl. <coughs> so he went, we have two competition. Parvata is my competitor. Please, tomorrow during the Shambhara, let Pasirimati see him as a monkey. Vishnu says, all right. Your, your boon, I am giving you the boon, you will be like a monkey. And Parvata secretly went to Vishnu and said, Look, I want to marry that girl. Narada is my competitor. Make Narada at Hanuman, a black monkey. Vishnu said, All right. So during Shambhara, Srimati came with the garland in hand. He saw a monkey and a, and a Hanuman seated there. And he did not put any. Means God protected both of his devotees, giving boon. This is called Maya. <laughs> Shamiji said, This Maya, it is not real, not unreal. At the same time, it is something. It is not real. Is fog real? No. But fog has a power to create a Accident, chain accident in the freeway. When the wind blows, the sun rises, the fog, the fog disappears. It is neither real nor unreal. The mirage, the water which reflects on the sun on the sand, is it real? No. But we see there is water. So this is the way Vedanta explains Maya. Shad asad dham anir bachaniyam. It is neither real nor unreal. It is unspeakable, mysterious phenomenon. It has power. At the same time, it disappears. When you have illumination, darkness goes away. So why, my, my, all these stories to tell you, why should we worship Maya? The Divine Mother, Mahamaya. Why? Because we need freedom. And the key of this freedom is in our hand. Nobody wants bondage. None, none, nobody. We want freedom. That freedom comes from the grace of the mother. If she opens the door, get in. So how to propitiate this divine mother? That is the reason we perform worship. Worship. There are various ways we can worship Father. Once a year we do this ritualistic worship. And I tell you one thing in advance. Next Sunday there will be a guest speaker, Swami Sharbha Priyananda, will come from New York. He will speak. He is a great speaker. As many of you have seen his YouTube, he was a very good Swami. He will come.
next time that you will speak. Anyhow, this mother worship is extremely <coughs> important in our life. Do you know why? Look what Krishna says in the Gita. Daivihi esha gunamai mamamaya durattaya mamai vaje prapadyante maya metam tarantite. This my maya is divine, inscrutable, full of three gunas, which is hard to transcend, hard to cross this turbulent ocean of maya. But those who take refuge in me, I help them. I help them to cross this maya. So we'll have to take refuge in the mother. We'll have to love her. We'll have to meditate on her. We'll have to pray to her. They just now, Shaili Chanta Jadevi Sarbhubhutishu, how Maya, 23 ways mothers manifested. Doya, Maya, Bhranti, all these things. Even Bhranti, our mystery, our forgetfulness is also divine. Do you know why? If you remember everything in your life, your life will be miserable. Even look. Yadevi Sarbhavuti Ishu Nidra Rupena Samastita. Even sleep is essential in human life. If you do not sleep three nights, you will be crazy. That is all Maya, Jugu Maya. I am just telling you, you know, our Maya, our Seva, Maha Maya, oh, mother worship, mother means a woman, a weak female body. Freak! Whole creation came from her. She is the creator, protector, destroyer. Everything comes from the mother. Shakti. She was Vishnu, all this. There is a funny story I shall tell you. Basha, as a disciple, was very sick. He could not cure it, cure that person. So he went to Brahma. Hey Brahma, you are the creator of this whole universe. My disciple is sick, please cure him. Brahma says, I am the creator, that is not my department, that is Vishnu's department, you go to Vishnu. But you also come with me, all right. <coughs> Went to Vishnu, Vishnu said, Lord, you are the preserver of this whole universe, please save the child of my, save the life of my disciple. Vishnu said, that is not my department. I only preserve this whole universe. That is the department of Shiva. He is the destroyer. If it just saves, he will be saved. Then he said, please, you also come with me. So Basha, Brahma, Vishnu, and the disciple, all four went to Vishnu, or Shiva. Shiva said, my goodness, you have come with this appeal to save his life. According to his horoscope, that Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Basha, and the disciple, when these five people meet, that person will instantly die. <laughs> <laughs> So the disciple is instantly died. <laughs> this is all play of Maya. <laughs> Where Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, and Dasha, and, and, and this disciple, when five people meet, that is the time he would die. So, anyhow, we have all these stories of the Ramayana and Mahabharata. <clears throat> if you really want to success in your life, Worship the mother. Even <coughs> Rama went to the Ravana, this Sharad Puja, this autumn of generally Durga Puja was held in <coughs> spring, they call it Vasanti Puja. But this Sharad, this autumn worship was started by Rama. Why? Because at that time he wanted to kill Ravana. And it was sold. That without worshipping the mother, you can't kill Ravana. So Rama started to perform worship. He needed 108 lotuses. So Onuman went to the Manasarovar and brought 108 lotuses, gave to Rama. Rama offered and found 107. One was missing. What? I Resolved that I shall offer 108 lotuses, one is missing. Well, people call me Kamala Patraksha, lotus eye drama. I shall take one eye from my body 
and offered to the mother. So he immediately took the bow and, bow and arrow and he wanted to take the eye from his body and offer to the mother. Immediately the Divine Mother appeared before him and said, I took it just to test your devotion. This is the lotus you offer now. So Rama offered 108 lotuses and got the power and that is the way he could kill Ravana. Same thing we find in the Mahabharata work. Before starting the work, Ram Krishna said to Arjuna, <coughs> first perform the mother worship, Durga Puja. Then you start work. Without her grace, nobody can win. Mother's grace brings success, victory, joy, peace in your life. That is the reason we worship mother. Anyhow, I just give you some of the important aspects of this mother worship. Then now I shall perform worship. You will see me, I shall worship with five items, some of with maybe ten items. Gandha, Pushpa, Dhupa, Deepa, Naivedha. First I shall offer perfume with a flower, then Pushpa, flower, Dhup, wave, incense, deep, light, Naivedha, food. Before I perform this worship, you will see I shall put a flower on my head. That means I am focusing, meditating on that particular deity. Then I shall begin my worship. That is the way you will see my height. Um, Ganesha, Guru, Ganesha, um, Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother and Durga. Five persons I shall worship one after another. Then there will be flower, then there will be uh, food offering, flower offering. Flower, before flower offering, our people will give you that peace mantras, sorry, uh, Pushpanjali mantra, the flower offering mantras, which Belur Mat, I brought from, I got it from Belur Mat. I shall repeat and you repeat, then we shall offer flowers, and then finally, we shall offer, we shall serve you prasad, and you will see, um, there are five items, Aruti, you will see I shall do. First, I shall wave the light. Second, conch, water. Third, cloth. Fourth, flower. Fifth, fan. What does it mean? It is good for you to know some of the customs of the Hindu. <coughs> Rituals. Light. This whole universe, including ourselves, are nothing but five elements. <coughs> Akasha, space, that shows the cloth. Cloth is the symbol of space. Then, from Akasha Bayu came here, that you will see in the fan, Bayu. Then from <coughs> Bayu comes fire, that is the light. From fire comes water, that is the conch. And then from conch it comes the, <coughs> the light. That is no, no gondo, flower. That flower is the earth. So these are the five elements. Some people say this system started from Krishna. How? Krishna was a shepherd boy, grazing the cows, sheep, came back. Mother Joshua first checked his feet with a lamp. Whether any carts and bruises are there or not. That is right. Then what did the mother do? <coughs> she washed the feet of Krishna. That is water. Third, what did she do? She took a cloth and wiped the feet of her son. That is the cloth. Next, <coughs> he, he put the flower, that is perfume. 
She anointed the feet of her son. Fourth, fifth, fan. She fanned her son. So you can see these five elements: Ganda, Pushpa, Dhup, Deep, Noibendu, which is very, very. I, I, somebody told me this symbol, how these things come. So when I perform the worship, the worship will be meaningful to you. You know what I'm doing. Otherwise, sometimes say we go to the temple, we do the worship, we do not know what the priest is doing. That is the reason every year before I perform rituals, I explain so that you may not feel that what they show me doing. You will get some ideas. So now I shall start worship. It will take an hour, and then you, you know, and then they will sing some songs. Yes. You will go.